This ministry began with a single coffee house in a single location. We started at Sather Air Force Base with our church member, Ellie Hazelwood, letting us know that the chaplain ran out of coffee, couldn't buy any more at the PX. And from that one location, everyone would fly into Iraq, and the other chaplain said, hey, they had a cup of coffee there to recharge after getting off that 18-hour flight, and they wanted coffee too. So it went through, like Chaplain Patterson here, throughout Iraq, then Afghanistan, and Kuwait, and other locations as well. All said, our total for chaplains we supported is over 1,461 chaplains to date since 2006. Um, we have opened over, uh, throughout the two countries, Iraq and Afghanistan, over uh, approximately 372 uh, locations. Uh, they come and go as troops move and uh, Iraq have uh, closed down. Chaplain Patterson writes, I want to say thank you to the members of First Congregational Church for your extremely generous and faithful support of the military chaplaincy and our ministry to our soldiers through the ministry of Holy Joe's Cafe. The first time I became aware of Holy Joe's Cafe was shortly after deploying to Mosul, Iraq with the first U.S. Army First Cavalry Division. After a 26-hour trip, I arrived to meet the chaplain I was replacing and was offered a fresh cup of coffee that not only invigorated me physically but also provided peace and joy in my heart as I learned of the generous support of Holy Joe's Cafe to the chaplain-led coffee house ministry located on almost every installation downrange. Over the year-long deployment, thanks to the vision and support of Holy Joe's Cafe, I and my fellow chaplains were able not only to provide a coffee house ministry to lift the spirits of our soldiers, but also to create an opportunity for soldiers troubled by the loss of a friend, struggling with a spiritual issue, or just needing a friendly place to momentarily ease the feelings of loneliness due to being away from their loved ones at home. It was always so helpful to be able to say to a soldier dealing with distress, let's have a cup of Holy Joe's coffee and talk about it. As the coffee poured out, so did the grief, tears, stress, and loneliness. In the end, the coffee cup may have been emptied, but the soldier was filled with the peace of God. Even after returning home, the generosity of Holy Joe's Cafe has continued to be seen through generous donations to our stateside installations as well. During tours of duty at both Fort Hood, Texas, and now at Fort Lee, Virginia, I have received donations of coffee that have allowed the ministry to continue. My soldiers all know that they can get a great cup of coffee and have a chat with the chaplain at the same time. From private to colonel, thousands of soldiers in my units have come to know and appreciate the generosity and faithful ministry of the First Congregational Church and Holy Joe's Cafe. As is often said to soldiers when out in uniform, I now extend to you, thank you for your service. Signed, Robert Patterson, chaplain, battalion chaplain at Fort Lee, Virginia. Um, many people think, well, you know, we're getting, we're kind of winding down. We, we've gotten out of Iraq and we're winding down the war in Afghanistan. Why support um, these chaplains at uh, their installations here in the United States? So often we forget that the wounds of war don't go away when a young man or, or woman who served steps off the plane back onto American soil. As a country and a government, they really ramp up everyone. They do a good job to go over there. When they come back, it's get off the plane, and, and they have a, a time of dwell time before that to report back to the base about two months and a half, and then it's back to normal operations. And from being to ramp up, you're with your unit. You're with everyone for 24-7. Your question directly, People are changed when you're there. The conditions, the smell, the noise, just the whole thing. And when they come back, over just under a third of service members have PTSD. We have hospitals and warrior transition units that we 
support with coffee as well as other locations. The tempo and what they've gone to know is the chaplain is the glue and keeps unit cohesion together, keeps everyone going. And they can speak to a chaplain, only one in the military, when it's completely confidential. So you might have a problem and you say, I can talk to a chaplain. And it's the same way they've become accustomed to that as a sense of support. And back here in the U.S., it's the same thing. And people have dealt with so much. Many people get married before they, they go, three months before they deploy, and they come back and, hey, you know, my wife's not the, I'm not the same, and she's not the same either, you know. So it can get really tough on many things. Deployment affects you. And so coming back, the chaplain is the glue that keeps everyone together. I stress that. And it is very a source of caregiving, very, very serious caregiving. When we put a contribution into the envelope this morning, how will this money be used? 99% of that is logistic support. Um, we get coffee donated from Green Mountain Coffee Curg, and that's great, but how do we get it there? And for the post office raising its rates, our challenge is to get coffee to flight lines that are leaving for Afghanistan. And it's Fort Bragg and, and other places in Florida, like Eglin Air Force Base. And for us to have coffee here in Connecticut, we've got to bring it down there. And each truckload is between 1000 and $1,500, depending on the locations. To mail one pallet through the post office, it's about $750 for one pallet of coffee, which is about 12,000 K-cups. To truck that coffee from here to Florida, it's about $1,500 for 30 full pallets of coffee. So you can see why that's critical. So what we do is we work the best prices we can get through trucking companies, and they bring it down there, and then it gets, gets downrange. So your support is paying for the logistics to bring that coffee into Afghanistan for the chaplains in the best, most effective, cost-effective way. Please be generous.